But it is uh, the middle of winter, so we thought, why don't we have a discussion about backyard fire pits? Yeah, for sure. Because there's so much to learn, and I've learned quite a bit during the week leading up to have this you now? chat. Yes, I have. I, you know, know all about it now. Right. Uh, all about fire pits. But someone who knows way more than I do right. is Andrew Fenton, owner director of Aussie Heatwave Fireplaces. Good morning, Andrew. Hi there, Renee. Hi, Cam. How are you doing? Hi. Yeah, really good. Thank you so much for joining us, mate. Give us, a, a, first of all, a brief overview of, of the fire pit, because we know that, you know, you can just have a fire pit in the backyard, but it, it's so much more than that. You know, it brings people together. There's, you can make an occasion out of it. So give us the fire pit vibe. Oh, look, absolutely. Like, we started uh, our business over 20 years ago bringing Mexican clay chimeneas, chimeneas into Australia and they just took off tremendously but uh, since then it's just grown and grown and people just love that outdoor fire, it gets people warm, it's that atmospheric thing, it's, it's primal, it's in our DNA and the fire pits are just another extension of that where people can get around that fire pit, light the fire sing kumbaya, toast marshmallows or, or have a thing. <laughs> Please. It's a great thing. <laughs> and Andrew, are there different times? Because you just mentioned the chimenea. What is that? Well, look, the chimenea is really um, a great thing because like a fire pit's terrific if you've got a big area, you've got a lot of wood, it's good for a farm, if it's out in the open because they tend to smoke a bit more than a chimenea. A chimenea you go through much less wood there's virtually no smoke at all. They're great to cook on and that sort of thing. Plus, they keep you warm. Whereas a fire okay. pit's a more open fire, it will tend to maybe smoke if it's not perfect conditions. If it's windy, you don't want to go with a fire pit. Whereas a chimney, you can light it. Like today in Melbourne, it's a horrible day. It's blowing a go. We've got the chimneys going out the front right now. Not a problem at all. Nice. Okay. And so you mentioned that you're in Melbourne, but you've got plenty of experience of, uh, of servicing the nation's capital. Oh, mate, we love coming up there. We do a couple of shows up there every year. We do the Murrumbait Field Days and we do the Canberra Lifestyle and Le Leisure Show where we have the uh, fire pits and the chimneys going. We do cooking demonstrations. We let people taste the great pizzas we cook on the, uh, on the chimneys. We grill food. It's a terrific... We have a great time. We've done it for over 15 years, Cam. Well, Andrew, I've been trying to convince my dad for years to get an outdoor pizza oven, so I <laughs> hope he's listening this morning and can hear your chat and maybe invest in a chimenea. What are the safety considerations, though, on a, looking at it from another perspective when people are considering getting one of these? Well, once again, you know, your fire pit is an open fire. It's low to the ground. Uh, if there's kids about, you want to have supervision there because, you know, anything could happen, you never know. Uh, whereas your chimney, being a fully enclosed fire, um, it's much safer. You don't get embers blowing out. You don't get sparks blowing out. You can literally go to bed at night and it will burn itself out and leave no ash. They're very, very safe indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Andrew, it's been a pleasure to talk to you this morning. I feel like going over to one now and just toasting a marshmallow or making a pizza and warming up. Andrew, thank you so much for your time. Have a great weekend. Come and see us at Murrumbateman or the Canberra Lifestyle Show in October, Renee. We'll look forward to meeting you there.